Hi everyone, welcome back to this new video. In the previous video we have seen an exercise specific for the left elbow. Today we are going to see two exercises for the right shoulder of the man in ballroom dancing. One of them requires an elastic, the other one it doesn't require anything, only your body and few minutes of your dedication. But before to start, let's talk about the position of the man, of the right shoulder of the man in ballroom dancing. One thing that affects a lot the end result is the elbow. If you hold your elbow too much behind you, of course this makes so that uh, your shoulder comes out. The second thing that uh, you have to pay attention to is the wrist. How you use it. Because the most you pull to yourself, the easiest is for the shoulder to be not in the correct place. The elbow has to be slightly forward, of course to the side, but slightly forward. And with the wrist you have to work from you, not towards you, okay? Let's see now the first of these two exercises for the right shoulder. The first one, as we said, requires an elastic. I have chosen this one because it's quite soft, it's not so stiff, and of course you need the one with the holes, okay? You take it, you pass behind your spine, one end goes inside the other, Sorry. One hand goes inside the other, you turn, you open, you place your hand through it, and now you have to pull the elbow outside and forward, making so you will, you will feel that the shoulder blade works. You're not pulling only the arm, okay? You are working with your spine as well. In this way, look at the shoulder. Immediately it goes downward, okay? Why this? Because we are making space for the shoulder to go down. If your elbow is near you and the shoulder blade is not working, you will never get the end result that you want. That's why you need to work to the right. And then you have the possibility to lower your shoulder in place. In this way, actually, you not only can dance alone, but you can dance in couple, because this elastic is not going to disturb your partner, okay? So this is a very good exercise, both if you dance alone and if you dance in couple. Of course, it's going to be quite tough if you dance, for example, uh, a full melody, or if you dance, for example, a stamina training with this, but at the same time, then it's not only going to be helpful for your shoulder, but also for the overall resistance of your arm. And this is actually a great thing if you are preparing for a competition. And now let's see the second exercise. For this one, I really suggest you to be in a hall or in a room where you can have uh, the possibility to use the mirror. In the specific, you need to stay in a way that your mirror will be on your right side, okay? To start this exercise is enough to stretch your arm sideways and then you start to rotate with the upper part of the body. Don't turn your feet because you don't need in this case, okay? You just look forward and turn until you will see that your left hand is in front of you. Now you check to the right if your arm line is perfectly parallel to the ground because a very common uh, mistake it is to rotate in this way remember when you want to get into prominent position you always have to remember to stretch your left side because it's the only way how you can keep your arm parallel to the ground if you don't work with your body and you just turn automatically the left side will be lower than the right. And in this way, of course, your right shoulder will come up, okay? So, you turn, you keep at the beginning your head in place, turn, 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 feel that the left side is longer than the right. And now, check to the mirror if the line of your arm is perfectly parallel to the ground, to the ground okay? One more time, we turn, we turn, we turn and we check. If everything is okay, 
I go back with my head, I give a little extra stretch, and I go back. And one, two, three, I stay, I check if everything is okay. I go back, I give an extra stretch, and I go back. One variation of this exercise can be including the leg action. One example can be if you make a step with the right foot forward before you actually reach the final position, okay? So you start activating your knee, you step forward with the right foot, and then you complete the prominent position, always making care, having care that your right shoulder stays in place, okay? Try this variation only if the first one it's actually too easy for you, okay? Or try the first one, and then after you feel ready, try the second one. i show you one more time. We open our arms, then we start to activate our lower part. Immediately the upper part starts to react as well, but we don't complete the rotation. I make the step, and now I go to reach the final position. Of course, I care about my neck, I care about my shoulder, my right side. I try to make everything perfect before I go actually to check myself into the mirror. I have to be sure that I'm in the correct position. And then I check. If something is not perfect, then you correct, you go back and you try to save the feelings that you get staying in this position. You go back and you try to repeat without repeating, of course, the mistakes. Okay, so in this video, I wanted to give two simple and small exercises. Actually, they are not difficult. They are not going to take you so much time as well. But these are very common exercises uh, when it comes to improving the right shoulder for the man in ballroom. As always, write in the comment section what you would like to see next which kind of exercise, for the lady as well, we can uh, uh, ask to my beautiful partner, which is now filming, to show you some exercise for the lady position or lady leg technique, wherever. And don't forget to subscribe, to like this video and to share. Thank you very much for being here with me and uh, see you next. Ciao!